uh, if you have a look at this, this is referred to as a, a report tooltip. Uh, if you haven't done them before, I will show you how to create a report tooltip. Uh, but what I actually want to show you is the card in here, which is the new features that we have and some, you know, how you can use images and icons and things like that. So if you want to have a follow along with me, feel free to download the file that I just dropped into the chat. Um, it already has it in here, but I'm going to build one from scratch. Now, again, because of our time restrictions, uh, I won't be able to kind of help you if you've got any issues. Um, I won't be able to have you share your screen. Um, but what we'll do is we'll record it and you can watch the YouTube recording. Uh, if you like this type of training, this is very much like the data viz storytelling course that I run where we're talking about, you know, lots of settings and how we can make things and improve the user experience of the Power BI report that we're going to build. So first thing we'll do is we'll create a report tooltip. So I'll show you how to do that. So I'm going to create a new page here. So clicking on the green plus. And in my settings, I need to tell Power BI that this is a report tooltip. So I head to the page information. Um, I like to call my tool tooltips TT. I already have a TT, so I'll just put a one there at the end. And it says allow use as a tooltip. And what this does is it'll minimize the page because we're just going to have that small little box up here. And so what we want to do in here is we're just going to create a card. I'll, I'll just use the original card here, the, the one, two, three card, because I just want the year. So if I put this in here, it turns out really big and generally you'll have to make them quite small. So I'm just going to Make that like a banner. And in here, I just want the year, which is in the calendar table. There is a column called year. We'll drop that in there. It's going to be too big. So if we head into our settings here, we'll just need to turn off the label. This is the label. And then the value, we can determine its size. So turn off the label and the value, let's drop that to like 20. Just push that up there and make it nice and skinny. And I like to give it a bit of a background color so that it stands out a little bit. So let's maybe go a light blue. So 19, 1899 is of for this data. This is the first year of data, which is a data entry issue. It doesn't go back that far, but we now have a box. So let me show you how you can just for the report, report tool tip. If you want that box to appear, what you need to do is go into format, select the visual you want it to appear, format settings. In the general settings, we have a tooltip. And again, apologies if I'm, I'm going too fast, but we'll record the session so you can you can have a look. And we should see now tooltip one. Well, for you, if you've just got the original, which is tooltip, actually, no, you'll need to make tooltip one. And when I hover here, um, this is the box that we've created. So if you're familiar with filter context, because I'm hovering over this particular column here, it's only filtered on 2021 data, which then filters this box to only show 2021. I'll head back to my tooltip page. Now, just a reminder, you do need to hide this page because we don't want it coming up in our report. This is just a little box that people are going to see. We don't want them to come to this as a particular page. So make sure you, you hide that. All right, now we're going to move into the new card here. So you see I've got the, the new card visual. Again, if you don't have, uh, I think it was December, maybe November 23, you won't be able to do this. You do need to be on a newer version of Power BI. And if you see the new card here, I'll just expand this out. And in this particular card, I want to see the amount of accidents. Um, so if I open up here, I've got two folders of measures at the top for you. The training one is the one we're going to use here. We're going to use this accident measure. So I'll drop the accident measure in here in the card. Then the great thing about this new card is you can, we're not going to do it today, but you can have multiple um, things in there. And if you have enough space, obviously not so good in a report tool tip, but you can have multiple things in one card. Previously, you could, you could only have one. Um, so let's just format this a little bit. So I'll head into the format settings in terms of now you have call out values, which is that's what we've just entered here as a call out. And then later we're going to enter some reference values which are associated with the call out. So the call out value settings are here. And I might just reduce that font a little bit. 
Um, one thing to note is you have to be careful with the series and make sure that you're choosing. So by default, it's all. But if you want to do specific changes, you need to pick the measure in this case that's in here or the column. So if I go to accident, then I can fix this display unit. So for those of us in Australia, we don't really use Ks. So I can go and turn that off. So I just get the, the whole value here instead of the K. All right, so that's the callout values. We'll come back to that one. Next thing we can do is we can add images. And hopefully you've got it in the download folder there. You'll see there's a little image that I've added. Um, I can click on on and browse and add an image. And you can see here I've got a PNG file with a car having an accident, and I can put that in there. Now, I don't want it on the right, and so I'll, I'll go through some of the settings here. I want it on the left. And then you just need to play around with the size. So let's go 50 pixels, you know, maybe 100 pixels, something like that. Um, and so again, I've done it on all, but you could have different images or different measures that you have in there as well. So there's our card. I'll just check that that's all working on the training page. So we can go on here. So I have in 2020, 12,000 accidents. Um, now I'd like to add a little bit more information here. I would like to know what was the accidents for the previous year. I can see the previous year was higher. Um, so let's go and add that. We'll head back to TT1. Now to do this, we need to go to the reference labels. So our call out is accident. What reference labels are things that are going to sit under accident. And so what we're going to add here is let's add, so I've already built the measure in here. So it's the previous year. Um, you'll note I've got a little icon in there. Uh, if you would like a little icon, it is the Windows button and dot. If you use Windows button and dot, um, you can pick uh, the memes or the GIFs won't work, but you can pick a little icon in here and you can search by that. So I've just got that little collision. And you can put it in there just because it will give a little bit of color and feel to a file here. So that's how you add that. And I'll drop accident previous year in this add label data bucket there. So now you can see I have my accident previous year. I can also add deaths in there. And I've got deaths previous year as well. So you can add a few different elements in here remembering that they're all associated and they're all going to be under accident. Then in terms of each label, there's another level down. So if I pick accident previous year, um, I can add one. So I can only add one detail. So I can have another value in here. So for this particular detail here, I can expand that and I can have value here and for this one I've got an icon I'll show you the code so what I want to see for this particular one here for the code is I'm just looking at the change over time so I want to divide accident by accident previous year and here again if you saw before I was using the format so I want my format to be 0, 0.00 percent and the result is actually going to be if it's greater than zero up it's less than zero down. And again, I'm just using those icons in there. So you could have a value, you could have text, uh, but just to make it look a little bit more interesting, Windows dot and I think it's up. So I've, I've picked that icon. So you can you can put icons in your DAX code. And so now what I'll do is I'll take that and I'll add it to the detail section. So there's almost three levels now if you want to think about it. So we've got the call out, the reference, and then each. So the call out can have multiple references. Each reference can have one detail. And so you'll see there now 5.78% and up. Um, so that's handy. We can add a little bit of more context. Um, so just remembering when I'm doing it for each particular one, I need to go and select particular label here. So now if I go down to deaths, uh, I don't actually have 
anything interesting to put in here, but I can if I turn on the details. Because I haven't entered anything in add data, I could write some text in here. So I can add a little bit of context. So I can say um, for this year, and you can see now the text will come in here for this. So that's 3K for this year. Again, I could go and do all the little settings so that's not 3K. Um, that would be down, where do we find that detail? In the value display units is none. Okay, so you couldn't write text. You don't have to bring in a measure or a column. You can put some text in there in, in the blank. And then the last one, I do have a change. So my death change icon, I need to go back to the detail, the value, where's it gone? Which one am I looking at now? Death. So I've got deaths previous year. And in this detail, I will add my death change icon. Turn it on first, death change icon. And I'm just going to go and change that to none as well. So you'll see as as the, the visual team are improving this, there's a lot of additional things we can do in terms of formatting. There's a few little steps and, and hopefully you can go back and watch the recording. If you've missed them, you can catch them all. But there's a lot of detail now in this report tooltip. Uh, the previous tooltip or the standard report tooltip, you can just have values. But now, and obviously we could put this in the chart itself as well, but I've built it out here. So I can obviously just copy this out and put it in as a visual itself. Uh, but I just wanted to show you as, because I was working on a project where I did this within a, within a tooltip. So we could add it in here. And if, if there was filter context in terms of year, you know, this would update. But if we have a look now, uh, let's pick one where there's been a little bit of difference. Um, someone can hover over this line, 13,000 in the previous year, 16. That looks correct. Actually, I'll add data labels so that we can actually check. Turn data labels on. So that one is rounded, but 16K. And that's a negative 15% downward. So accidents have gone down 15%. For this particular year, there were 259 deaths, but for the previous year, there was 290. So we're down around about 10%. Um, so these are just some interesting ways you can make your reports look more appealing using data visualizations techniques. Um, we do a lot of this in the data storytelling course. So it is only a half day course, but we, you know, we spend a lot of time looking at different techniques. Um, and again, the principle that we want to follow here is being able to get the answer for what people are looking at within 30 seconds. So that's the principle that we're trying to look at. If you'd like to improve um, your data visualization and data storytelling techniques, do come along, do reach out, do send me an email. Um,